Chapter 12 Assuming that Alex was simply joking, Emma didn't take it seriously. She walked aside and dialed Doris's number. Soon, the call was answered. Doris's sweet and pleasing voice resonated from the other end of the line. Hello, Miss Richard. Hi, Miss Young. I have a favor to ask from you, Emma said timidly. Okay, what is it? Doris replied. Emma rehearsed the sentence in her head once again, taking a deep breath before she said determinately, May I know if the chairman is available tomorrow night? My family will be organizing a banquet tomorrow to officially announce our collaboration with Diamond Group. I hope that the chairman would kindly accept my invitation. There was silence at the other end of the line before Doris spoke again, Miss Richard, I'm sorry but I cannot make the decision on behalf of my chairman. Or, perhaps I could ask him for you, would that be alright? Emma said respectfully, thank you, sorry for the trouble caused. After the call was ended, Emma held her phone nervously, anticipating her reply. Right at this moment, Alex's phone suddenly rang. Alex was taken aback, quietly cursed himself for forgetting to mute his phone. It must be Doris who was calling to ask for his opinion. He pretended to answer the phone calmly and mumbled, yes? As expected, Doris's voice came from the phone, Mr. Anderson, Richard Group will be holding a banquet tomorrow night. I would like to ask if you would want to attend the banquet. Alex replied, Oh, is that so? Okay, I will. All right, that's it, bye. Then, he quickly hung up the call and mumbled, These marketing spam calls are really annoying. Emma didn't suspect anything, but very soon, her phone rang again. Doris's voice echoed into her ear again. Hello, Miss Richard, our chairman has agreed to your invitation, he'll drop by the venue then. Huh. Really? That's great. Thank you so much for your help. Please thank Mr. Chairman on my behalf too, Emma muttered in disbelief followed by an excited shriek. She didn't expect that the chairman would actually agree to come. She hurriedly turned to Lady Richard and said delightedly, Grandma. The chairman of Diamond Group has agreed to come. Really? Lady Richard was extremely thrilled. She turned and ordered the family members on the floor immediately, quick, make the necessary preparations. Book the most luxurious hotel, order the best meals and drinks. Let's make it big to welcome the chairman of Diamond Group. Next, contact all the big companies in the city and invite them to our banquet. Inform them that Diamond's chairman will be there. Then, the office became very busy with everyone bustling here and there to make phone calls. Everyone was stoked, constantly contacting their business partners and the high-profile figures of Oris Hill. The news exploded like an atomic bomb in the city that it spread like wildfire. In the blink of an eye, everyone in the Oris Hill knew about Richard Group's banquet. The mysterious chairman of Diamond Group would appear at the Richard family's banquet tomorrow night. Lady Richard responded to the countless inquiries over the phone with a wide smile on her face. She was over the moon right now, because she knew that after tomorrow's banquet, the Richard family would surely become the most sought-after family in Oris Hill. She giggled earnestly and said, Okay, that's it for today. Start preparing for tomorrow's banquet. Dismiss. After the meeting, Lady Richard returned to her office. Harold looked around sheepishly and quickly followed her. Grandma, do you really want to appoint Emma as the director? Harold couldn't help but speak directly when there was no one around. Lady Richard frowned and said in a cold voice, I've promised Emma, why can't I appoint her? Grandma, you can't make her the director. Why? She has won such a lavish contract. Her contribution is significant and important and she deserves it. She was only able to win the diamond contract because George of the Alexander family helped her. I heard that George had gone to her place yesterday and Diamond Group signed a contract with us today. The coincidence is quite odd, don't you think? From what I see, she must have spent the night with George Alexander. 
Lady Richard's face slowly turned into a shade of brewing rage. Is that true? Harold uttered firmly, of course it's true. George did go to see Emma last night. You'll know if you look into it. He then continued, Grandma, Emma is a married woman. If the skeleton in the closet is revealed, with people knowing this is how we had won the contract with Diamond, what would they say about the Richard family? What would they say about you? Lady Richard's frown wrinkled even deeper, buying Harold's lie. She knew about George's feelings towards Emma. During her birthday, George had given her a jade talisman worth five to six million dollars. It could also explain why Emma was able to win the eighty million dollar contract. Sensing the change in Lady Expression, Harold quickly continued, If you appoint such a shameless woman as the director, our reputation will be tarnished. At a time like this, you must appoint another person as the director and give that person the credit of the contract too. The best choice would be a man, it's the best way to avoid gossip. Lady Richard nodded slightly, pondering upon his suggestion. She believed 80% of Harold's lies. Considering the circumstances, she should choose another candidate as the director to eliminate the rumor and gossip. If the public were to know that Emma had won the contract because of her affair with George, she could state that the new director had won the project instead of it being the product of Emma's affairs. Moreover, the old lady was biased too. Honestly, she didn't like Emma. In addition, she was a conservative woman with patriarchal thinking. She didn't like the idea of Emma slowly growing her influence and power in the Richard family. She must stop her growth within the family to consolidate the Richard family's assets. She had made up her mind silently as her thoughts ran wild. She looked at Harold and said coldly, Harold, from now on, you must listen to me. Do what I tell you to do, and don't do the things that I tell you not to do, do you understand? Harold stood upright and said, expressing his loyalty, Don't worry Grandma, I'll follow your orders like a loyal servant. I'll go wherever you point, I'll do whatever you say. Okay. Lady Richard nodded and continued. At the banquet tomorrow, I'll announce that you're the new director and will be fully in charge of the project with Diamond Group. But remember, you must be obedient and faithful. I can hold you up, but I can also bring you down. Harold shrieked gleefully and said, Don't worry, Grandma. I'll be a good boy.